what's up it's taylor and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so if you guys are new here i make faith and lifestyle related videos on my channel and i really like helping people grow in their faith and if you guys like that type of content then definitely subscribe so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys 10 things that god has taught me this year or just in general and this year i have felt closer to god than i ever have in my entire life and i feel like he has helped me realize some really important things in my life and that's why i wanted to make this video and like share them with you guys and i pray that this video will give you guys comfort and guidance and i pray that it encourages you guys in your own relationship with god okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start because this is probably gonna be a really long video because i have so much that i want to say okay so the first thing that god has taught me or has reminded me of this year is that he always hears my prayers i know that if i'm not getting an answer from god right away then i know he has something better planned for me and for my life there is always a reason why he makes us wait no matter what that reason is and i have talked about this in previous videos he has taught me to have faith and put my trust in him that he knows what's best for me and there's so many different bible verses that talks about how god is hearing your prayers i trust that his plan and his timing is better than my own plan and my own timing and at the right time he will get me to exactly where i need to be it's all about his perfect timing okay so i'm going to move on to number two i don't want to talk about like all of these things for like a really long time because i don't want this video to be too long and i do have 10 things that I want to talk about but anyways number two is that prayer changes everything I am literally living proof that prayer changes everything like I would not be where I'm at in my life today if it wasn't for other people's prayers my friends prayed for years for me to come back to church and yes I'm the one that made the decision on my own to come back to church but it's also God answering their prayers prayer is so powerful and I'm sure that's something that you guys hear a lot but I am convinced that it changes things I have seen prayer change things. I have felt it. I have witnessed it in other people's lives and my own life. Like I said, I am convinced that prayer changes things and it's honestly one of the most powerful tools that we have. And something that my pastor said a couple of months ago that really stuck with me is that prayer is like oxygen. We need it to survive spiritually. And God has taught me to not only pray about myself, but to pray about others, to pray for other people's salvation, pray for my family, my friends, my church family, my pastor my community, my country, the world, the leaders of this country. And let me just say this, God has answered a lot of my prayers first. And one thing that I learned is that if you want God to hear your prayers, then you have to get right with him first. And that leads me to number three, the next thing that God has taught me, which is to repent of your sins. And I am so thankful that I now understand how important and how necessary this is. Whenever I was a teenager, I remember I used to pray and I never felt like I was getting an answer from God like I was always wondering why God was never answering my prayers I was really never hearing him in the way that I wanted to hear him like I remember specific times that I used to pray and I would never know if God was actually hearing me and sadly that's just how I felt whenever I was praying like my prayer life was not the best because I didn't think that God was hearing me but then I realized that he wasn't hearing me because I hadn't repented of my sins and during those times when I didn't feel like God was hearing my prayers or whenever I didn't feel like he was listening to me I just felt very disconnected from him my pastor did a whole series on true genuine repentance and let me tell you guys I learned so much from his sermons repentance makes it possible for us to grow in our faith and grow in our relationship with God and repentance is more than just admitting your sins to God it's also turning away from your sin because if you don't turn away from your sin you're not really going to grow in your relationship with God and you're just going to feel really stuck okay so the fourth thing that God has taught me this year is that he needs to be not number one in my life above anybody else. I remember when I used to go to church back when I was a teenager and I definitely did not put God first every single day of my life. But this year, God really made me realize in order to grow my relationship with him, I have to put him first above anybody else. God doesn't want me to live for him just whenever I feel like it or just whenever I'm not busy doing everyday life stuff. But he wants me to live a life that is devoted to him. He doesn't want me to just talk about my faith, but he wants me to actually walk by him every single day of my life and I realized very quickly that unless I live my life out in faith for him with my actions then my words are basically meaningless to him it's all about action and actually doing it and proving to God that he is number one in your life and it's just like whenever you're trying to grow your faith you actually have to do these things in order to grow you can't just call yourself a Christian so number five the fifth thing that God has taught me is that I cannot control all the things that happen in my life I used to be the type of person that would 
would try to control things and do things my own way and this year I really realized that I cannot. Something that we all need to remember is that everything that happens in our lives happens for a reason whether we want to believe that or not and some of the things in life that I realized I can't control are like the situations that I'm put in or whether a person walks in or out of your life and another thing is change. We can't really control the changes that are happening in our lives but what we can control is how we react to the change. We can control how we react to a situation whether it's good or bad or we can control the choices that we make in our lives and I've realized that instead of worrying about the things that I can't control I need to be focusing on making the right decisions that will help me grow in my relationship with God. Okay so the sixth thing that God has revealed to me this year is that he will always show people's true colors to you and this is honestly kind of hard for me to talk about but this year I went through a situation in my life where God showed me somebody's true colors and it was somebody that I was really close to somebody that I thought was going to be in my life for a really long time and because of God showing me this person's true colors it allowed me to let go of somebody that was very very toxic in my life and at first it really hurt me to lose somebody that I thought was my friend but as time went on things definitely got easier and I realized that God was just looking out for me and for my life the whole time because to be honest I think if that person was still in my life I wouldn't be where I am. Okay so I'm editing this video and I realized that I didn't really make sense there so basically what I was trying to say is if that person was still in my life I think that I wouldn't be where I'm at because that person would be like holding me back and that person was very toxic to me and I know that God was looking out for me and that's why he removed them from my life so that I can grow closer to him. <laughs> God no longer wanted me to be hurt by this person and that's why he removed them from my life. And I realized that if God removes somebody from your life, it's just him telling you that it's not meant to be and they're just not meant to be in your life. And he's also telling me that I deserve better. And let me just tell you, God will definitely put the right people in your life at the right time. Like I said earlier, he knows what's best for you and he will make sure that the right people stay in your life for as long as they possibly can. And I always say this, but if God removes something or somebody from your life he will replace it with something or somebody better okay so number seven is that there's always light at the end of the tunnel life is never easy but we were never promised that it was going to be easy and trust me i know how it feels to feel like you're constantly walking through a dark tunnel and you just feel like you're never going to see the light of day you just feel like you're never going to get out of that dark tunnel or that dark place in your life whether it's something happening in your life or you just feel sad or depressed or lonely or whatever it is but because God is so good. He will always be there with us. He says that so many times throughout the Bible and he will help guide us through our difficult seasons that we are going through in life and he will eventually no matter how long it takes because like I said he has perfect timing but he will help you see the light at the end of the tunnel and something that I have learned is that God will always guide me in the right direction no matter how badly I am feeling and something that I want you guys to know is no matter how far in the dark you have gone or no matter how far you have walked away from God you can always go back and he is never going to give up on you and he is never going to leave you nor forsake you. I truly believe in my heart that he knew I was going to come back to him all along and I'm going to talk about that a little bit more whenever I get to number nine but before number nine is number eight. I cannot skip that one. The eighth thing that God has taught me is what it really means to give my life to him. I feel like this year is when I truly truly understood what it meant to surrender your life to Christ. I first gave my life to Jesus whenever I was a young teen teenager at church camp whenever I went to the beach. I remember getting saved and then I also got baptized in the ocean that same week. I have learned and grown so much more this past year than I ever did back whenever I first gave my life to Jesus whenever I was a teenager. And one thing that the Lord has revealed to me is that while I used to say that I surrendered my life to him, I really hadn't. Like yes I got saved but after a while I wasn't really acting like it. I definitely remember really struggling in certain areas of my life. I remember I used to pray to God asking him for guidance and direction but then I would just turn around and do what I wanted anyways and that was me living in the flesh and like I mentioned earlier I used to try and control things that were happening in my life and just do things my own way but this year God has really shown me that I cannot do that and yes God does give us free will but he also hopes that we will make the right choice to pursue him. <laughs> 
sorry if my camera moved a little bit my camera stopped recording because my sd card was full so i had to delete some like other videos that were already on my camera but yeah anyways back to what i was saying so the lord has definitely showed me this year what it means to truly surrender my life to him it means to take up my cross and follow him rather than holding on to the things that i thought i wanted and it means to turn away from your sin and let him be the one in control and there are so many other things that i can mention that living for jesus means but i'm gonna save that for like a whole nother video if you guys want me to make a whole video on what it means to live for jesus then i would be more than happy to make that video okay so number nine we are almost to the finish line but number nine is god is always looking out for me so if you guys didn't already know i worked at arby's for seven and a half years and i quit that job last september and then i got a job at chick-fil-a in october and i just wanted to say i am so blessed and so thankful to god that i work at chick-fil-a because i have every sunday off basically what i'm trying to say is that god knew i was miserable working at arby's and he got me out of there for a reason and i realized what that reason was this year and it was so that i could come back to church and rededicate my life to him if you guys did not watch my christmas gift ideas video i mentioned in that video like at the very end that i got rebaptized in october and i am so happy that i did that because it shows people that i am serious about following god god was literally looking out for me the whole time and looking out for my best interests and god knew that if i stayed working at arby's it was just going to make me even more miserable and even more depressed than i already was i literally never had any time to do anything whenever i worked at arby's because the last year that i worked there i was a manager i feel like i didn't have a life at all i was always getting called in early or i was even coming in on my days off like i was literally always there but i truly believe that god was leading me back to him and back to the truth the whole entire time and i am just so thankful to where god has led me today i have an amazing family i have an amazing church family i have amazing friends and most importantly i have god back in my life and even though i walked away from him he never walked away from me i feel like he was trying to tell me the whole entire time to get out of arby's and i am so glad that i finally did okay so the last and final thing that i want to talk about in this video the 10th thing that god has taught me this year is to guard my heart i very quickly realized this year that if i fed my heart things from this world it would stop working the way that it should god showed me that i have to overcome temptation and protect my heart and myself from the things that would eventually hurt it and when we do let our guard down and we forget the things that god is telling us in the bible and also through prayer we are just hurting ourselves and our relationship with god and god revealed to me this year that guarding my heart has everything to do with the people that i surround myself with with the movies that i watch the tv shows that i watch or the music that i listen to and also even the things that i'm saying or thinking and that's why i only listen to christian music now because it encourages me and i also completely stopped watching tv shows that had a lot of cuss words in it actually to be honest with you guys i don't even watch any tv at all i used to religiously watch netflix like after i would get home from work but now i just have like way more important things to do basically what i'm trying to say is i don't want to feed my heart toxic and negative things because that's not going to help me grow as a christian i want to glorify god with the things that i do not let him down ultimately what i'm talking about is spiritual warfare and this is something that every christian struggles with and i really want to make a whole video talking about spiritual warfare i've actually been thinking about this for a while so if you guys want to see a video on that then definitely let me know because it's something that like a lot of people struggle with so yeah those were the 10 things that god has taught me this year and i am so glad that i made this video because i feel like it's going to help a lot of people and like i said in the beginning i pray that this video can encourage you guys and comfort you guys and give you guys guidance and if you guys did enjoy this video then definitely give it a thumbs up for me and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you guys are new like i said i make faith and lifestyle videos and i love helping people grow in their faith and i would love to have you guys a part of my family my camera battery is literally about to die it's flashing red but i just wanted to say please go follow my tiktok at my faiths in jesus i love sharing my faith on there and spreading the gospel and just making a whole bunch of different content on there so definitely go follow me because i post way more on there than i do on youtube it's just a lot easier to post on tiktok and it doesn't take as much work youtube is a lot of work and it takes a long time to like film and edit a video but yeah i'm gonna go now i love all of you guys so much and remember jesus loves you too and i will talk to you guys all in my next video bye guys <laughs>